Welcome back to another episode of Warren Cali. In this episode, I'm going to detail the story of Oakland rapper, Kenny Clutch. Kenny Clutch was born Kenneth Cherry Jr. and he would grow up in Oakland, California and be raised on the north side to be exact. Growing up in Oakland was rough and being a teenager in the 2000s in Oakland, Kenny would experience a lot. Even though he had both parents in his life, living in Oakland could easily make anybody turn to the streets. This type of rough environment will later lead to Kenny being in the streets and having to carry a gun, which he would later be arrested on gun charges and drug charges. With Oakland not being a big city, it still had high murder rates. In the 2000s, you had years like 2006 reaching 148 murders. Oakland's homicide conviction rate was lower than the California average, with the rate being around 60% in California, but Oakland's conviction rate was in the 30s. With the limited police, Oakland was a dangerous place to live and a hard place to combat crime. So if you did a crime there, you most likely wasn't getting caught. And still to this day, Oakland is still ranked as one of the most deadliest cities in America. During this time period, Kenny would pursue other things outside of the streets and music became his passion. He would later move to Vegas for a change of scenery and to get out of Oakland's dead end streets. Kenny's rap name would be Kenny Clutch and he would drop several songs on YouTube. Many people would say Kenny's lifestyle was funded with him being a pimp and many would say he would take his pimp game to another level while living in Vegas. He was always on the strip and always flexing his Maserati. But Kenny's family would say this was false and he didn't participate in the pimp lifestyle. On February 21st, 2013, Kenny would be at the Aria Hotel on the Vegas Strip. He would run into a local pimp named Amar Harris, a known pimp in Vegas, and Amar was flashy and always flooding his money. Video just for today. I get a little, little, little shit off my chest. So, um, he's the kind of like help me count something. True. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna be ghetto, and I'm gonna put this camera down. You see these? We, we gonna call that the counting game, right here. See what I'm saying? I don't feel like counting anymore. You get what I'm saying? There, there's still, there's still more money right here. Like I could keep going. Like that's a, that's an extra thirty over here. Kenny and Amar were running to each other in the Aria parking lot in the valet section. Both men would have words with each other and the altercation pursued. They would both leave the scene, Amar in his Range Rover and Kenny in his Maserati that he shot some of his videos in. Both men would speed off into Las Vegas Boulevard where Amar had multiple women in his car and he would catch up to Kenny's car. Both men would have an exchange of words before Amar would fire at Kenny's car. Witnesses in Amar's car would say he began celebrating loudly while other women in the car were crying. One of the women said that Amar told them all to get down before he fired multiple shots at Kenny's car. After being shot multiple times, Kenny would lose control of his car and he would end up crashing his car into a taxi cab, causing a fire that killed two people and injured six others. Kenny would lose his life from this incident as well. It was a violent scene no one could quite comprehend. A shooting and a fiery car crash on the Vegas Strip that took the lives of three people, including an aspiring rap artist from Oakland. Friends and family gathered at a memorial for Kenny Cherry, who went by the name Kenny Clutch. It was just hitting me hard because like that was like my little brother. Tonight, candles line the street along the Oakland-Emeryville border where Kenneth Cherry grew up. The aspiring rapper was gunned down in Las Vegas where he moved a few years ago, ironically, to get away from gun violence. I think Vegas was the best choice he could have made as far as, you know, out here. Because, you know, it's a lot of, lot, of, lot of street violence going on out here, and it's a lot more intense than Las Vegas is. Cherry's friends and family had encouraged him to go, and today Cherry's father left for Las Vegas to identify his son's body. Friends and family say Cherry came from a good home, that he briefly dabbled in criminal activity as a youngster, but at heart was no troublemaker. Court records show Cherry had been arrested for having marijuana and a gun back in 2007. But friends say he left that lifestyle behind years ago and reports that he was a pimp. Omar will go around bragging about killing everyone, but this will lead to all the camera footage coming out and police easily finding out that he was the killer. The shooting began as an argument moments earlier at a nearby casino. This morning, as authorities in four states search for the driver of that black Range Rover, police here in Sin City are trying to calm nerves. Thursday's shooting marks the fifth violent incident reported on the popular Vegas Strip since December. Prosecutors obtained a warrant the day after the shooting for Amar's arrest on account of three murders, one attempted murder, and several shooting charges. He was later arrested in LA. Amar had already been fighting several cases with him being a pimp in a year prior. He was arrested in a sting. 
he would get charges from being a pimp, robbery, and violating women in various ways. From this case alone, he would receive 16 years to life. But by 2015, Amar would go to trial and be sentenced for the killing of Kenny and other two people involved. Amar sat emotionless in court and he would later receive the death penalty. Breaking news of the day, Amar Harris sentenced to death. Action News brought it to you live as a whole thing unfolded in the courtroom. Our own Masa Saidi has been live tweeting throughout it all. She continues with more live updates right now. Masa. Trisha, these are jurors that took less than 30 minutes to convict Harris. And today, inside this courtroom, they took less than two hours to sentence him to death. When that verdict was read, the victim's family members first cheered, and then came the tears. We heard them openly sobbing. Here's that moment. And having found that the aggravating circumstance or circumstances outweigh any mitigating circumstance or circumstances, impose a, impose a sentence of death. Quiet, we have not completed reading the verdict. As you could hear, they could not contain their excitement for the victims' families. This was a nightmare that began in February of 20, 2013, and no doubt today, in some ways, it has concluded. Walking you through the day, we heard short closing arguments. Shortly before three, jurors went inside to deliberate, a surprise to no one. At five, we got word that a verdict was in. As the jurors were quietly filing in, we noticed that a few had smiles on their face. They were chatting. Overall, they looked relieved. Amar Harris had chosen not to be in the courtroom today. We don't know whether right now he knows that he has been sentenced to death. While in prison, Amar will be stabbed several times, almost costing him his life. The man on death row is now on life support after he was stabbed in prison. Amar Harris was convicted of murder after he killed three people in a shooting and then a fiery crash on the Las Vegas Strip back in 2013. The 34-year-old pimp was sentenced to death and then locked up at Ely State Prison. According to court documents, Harris was stabbed while in custody. This happened back in August and is now at a Las Vegas area hospital. He was listed in critical condition and on life support. Kenny and two other people both lost their lives over a fight. And now Amar is never getting out of prison and almost lost his life itself. This will conclude this episode. If you haven't already, make sure you check out my previous episodes. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.